I get some on the bed and some What's up boys? You guys have been asking for it. It's time. It's the hitting tips video. I've been seeing a bunch of comments. What's your settings? Do you have any tips on hitting? How do I get better? Well, I'm going to show you. All right, let's go, baby. I'm going to go through a couple different categories with you guys, right? So I'm going to show you everything that I use to hit. That includes my controller, my settings. I'm going to show you guys my approach and how I approach hitting. And then I'm going to show you guys how I end up practicing to try and perfect these things that I do teach you. So to start it off, we have the PlayStation DualSense Edge controller. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I can't 100% remember, but it's like PlayStation's version of the Elite controller. Some people say that it does eliminate some of the input delay of like the regular PlayStation controller. I don't 100% know if I can recommend it just based on that. You can replace the joysticks, which I really like. I hate having stick drift on my joysticks, so it's huge. You just pop it open and you can replace them and no more stick drift. I really do like the controller. It does feel pretty premium. I like this little thing that it comes with, the charger, because I do play over USB. I do think even if you're going to use a regular PlayStation controller, you do need to have it plugged in, switch the setting to over USB. I did notice a huge difference when I went from that or I went from wireless to that. I also use the Galaxy Control Freaks on the left analog i know it looks like the right because my camera's inverted but it is the left i don't use anything on the right one for pitching yeah it's the galaxies and just a shorter one that's basically my controller setup just you know a controller and some control freaks all right so now as far as settings these are the settings we are using pci anchor i do not like this a lot of people do just strictly based on preference it messes with my muscle memory that's something you're gonna hear me say a lot it's called a creature of habit i think i like to keep everything the same have my muscle memory on point and that completely changes it so i keep it off 100 percent pci on this is the thing you guys probably really came here for this is my pci uh diamonds wedge nothing on the outer i keep it yellow basic old school 60 i found 70 was too bright 60 is kind of the sweet spot for my monitor i don't change pcis too often when you see me struggle i will change it to, to just get rid of the wedge i'll flip flop back and forth between those two and i know what you're thinking aj what about the bat pci there's something about the bat pci i do not like i don't know how to explain it i don't like it at all i know a lot of people do like it i, I can't do it there's something weird about it it's almost like when you spin it in a circle because I spin my PCI in a circle a lot while I'm hitting and it doesn't go in a straight circle. I know that's weird, but that's kind of why I don't want to use it. And it's like blocking my face as I'm trying to see the ball. I just don't like it. So camera, hey, look, you're going to get some pitching too. Hitting, I use strike zone. I think if you do want to be competitive, you need to either use strike zone or strike zone high. I've never used strike zone high. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I'm strictly strike zone. I've been strike zone since MLB 16. Pitching, still trying to find a pitching one. I like strike zone. In play offense, I know you guys want to see that one. It is high. I think high is the best camera for in play offense. Just because I can tell when a ball is getting down, if it's getting to the gap, if it's gone, I see it right away. It's 100% preference based on you. Like all this is preference. But yeah, this is just what I use. And then the same thing for defense. Yeah, those are the settings. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now you're like, all right, AJ, I copied your settings. Now, how do I get good at the game? Well, this is how I try to get good at the game. So I go over to sliders. I go down all the way to fastball pitch speeds. And what we're going to do is we're going to crank this all the way up. So things are going to be coming in hot. The fastballs are going to be coming in 55,000 miles an hour. And you want that. Off speed pitches. Do not change this because when you get online, if you turn it all the way up and you recognize off speed, you're going to flail. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Fastball pitch speed is easier because once you're able to recognize fastball right away, you're able to recognize it straight out the hand then you're going to start being able to recognize off speed straight out the hand also gameplay i have all my things on legend that's the difficulty i play on if you want to get good at the game you're gonna have to figure out how to hit on legend and this is just the best way i found out how let's go into custom practice we are the angels i'm gonna try and find a pitcher that has outlier on the right and left side i'm trying to see let's do national because they have sandy and Sandy is probably pretty tough to hit. Okay, apparently the Angels are the ones pitching. I don't know. Whatever, Otani has a fast fastball. So what we're gonna do, it's a little bit different than it was last year. We're gonna turn down the pitch frequency so where you're only gonna see fastballs. What I like to do to get myself accustomed to hitting the fastball 
boom, boom, boom. I like to practice hitting the four seam on the inner half over and over and over until I can consistently turn on it. Before we get into trying to hit this 5,000 mile an hour fastball, um, I want to explain what I'm doing here. As a pitcher, because you're going to pitch and you're going to hit on this game. The worst feeling in the world is getting an opponent that will not let you throw a fastball. If you can only spam off speed, at, at some point, the opponent is going to make the adjustment and you're going to give up a home run and then you're not going to be happy. So that's exactly what we're going to learn to do right here. We're going to learn to hit the fastball. The basic thing that I use for hitting I need a timing mechanism. If you watch top players, the majority of them are going to have some sort of timing mechanism. It, it's like in regular hitting. You need something to keep your timing, get your foot down, and swing on time. Your timing mechanism could be just tap the floor, uh, count, I don't know. But what I do, I usually will start my PCI up and in, and right as the pitch is about to release, I have like a little, uh, a little flick. You know, I try to start my PCI same spot every time. So let's see if we can get a good hit. There we go. Perfect, perfect. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to turn on it. And I just want you guys to know, even I'm struggling with this. Like, it's it's tough, dude. It's tough to try and turn on these fastballs. But what it's going to teach you is to be able to recognize the fastball. But once you're able to hit this, you can hit anything on mine. So as I'm going up and I'm trying to hit, I'm trying to take away the fastball every single at bat. I want my opponent to fear that if they throw a fastball, that ball's getting booty blasted. So say you're like, all right, AJ, I got the inside down so what am i supposed to do now you got the inside down so let's do the middle all right and you do the same thing you find a comfortable spot to start your pci it could be middle it could be up and in it could be up and away down and in down middle whatever so you got the inside all right i'm done you got the middle all right i'm done you got the outside all right we're good to go so now that you got the fastball let's include the slider i i like to move the pitch frequency down and just make it all even so you don't know exactly what you're gonna get if you're just trying to learn to try and get your pci to hit things you can select each box in the middle and they will only throw you strikes you can just practice seeing the ball honestly just sit here for a little bit before you even try to swing and just track the ball with your pci just learn to track it because then you're gonna get that muscle memory and that's exactly what you're trying to get by doing this get the muscle memory so when you get online you don't have to be like oh man i gotta be I gotta be perfect. I gotta be perfect when it comes to hitting this. No, because you got the muscle memory down. You're just focusing on trying to hit and pick up your pitcher's tendencies. Uh, sorry, I had to get out of Angel Stadium during the day. I couldn't see the ball. So once you get comfortable, you're swinging, you're starting to hit the ball, you're getting some perfect perfects. So what, you're like, okay, AJ, what do I do now? Well, now you go into practice, you go into batting, and then you unclick all the squares. So now they can throw you fastballs, they can throw you sinkers, anything that they want. It might not be in the strike zone. You got to start developing your eye and figuring out what pitches you handle best, what pitches you think you can hit, and you just sit here and you practice and you practice and you practice. One thing I want to stress is this is going to be difficult. I promise you. It's probably going to drive you nuts because it drives me nuts too, but it, it definitely makes you better. Do not get dis discouraged. If you're swinging through things, if you're taking late swings, you're training yourself. You're training yourself. You're getting the muscle memory down. Boom. See? And then it feels good when you actually hit the ball. Keep grinding through it. I promise you it will be worth it in the end. You will get better. I know legend seems scary and crazy and hard, and it is. It definitely is. But if you just sit in here 15, 20 minutes a day, you're going to be okay. I'm telling you, the timing mechanism is probably one of the most important things. When I struggle, I go back and watch gameplay. And when I'm hitting, I go back and watch gameplay, right? So... I figured out that if I'm not doing my timing mechanism, I tend to struggle. It's just weird. I don't know. I, I, I can't explain it, but I would definitely recommend getting yourself a timing mechanism, whether you use mine with the little flick or you use yours where you stomp your feet on the ground when it's time to hit. I don't know. Something. You got to work on it. All right. That's basically my hitting approach when it comes to righty righty. Sinkers are probably going to be a lot harder to hit than fastballs. I will say that. They are nasty. Like, if you just want to practice hitting a sinker, you do this, boom, turn it all, all down, and then focus on just trying to hit it. I promise you 99% of your opponents, they're going to test you in first. Can this guy hit a sinker? And if you can't, you're in trouble because they are going to spam it. 
So you need to take that away. And then they're going to be like, all right, well, if he's selling out for a sinker, then obviously he can't hit the slider. No, because you can hit the slider because what we're going to do is we're going to put the squares on the outside and we're going to focus on driving sliders the other way. All right. And you can do that for every single pitch that you struggle with. Practice, 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 practice. And you're like, all right, well, I can hit it now. Then you include every single pitch. A lot easier said than done. I know that it is very difficult. The game is hard. I promise you, especially if you're getting into legend, the game is very hard. One important thing that I want you to remember is treat this like it is a real game. That's the only way you're going to get benefit out of it. You don't want to lose a real game, right? So practice like it's a real game. One thing that I kind of want to talk to you guys about while we're doing this is recognizing pitches out of the hand so i am trying to determine right away whether or not it's a sinker or an off-speed pitch that's that's exactly what i'm trying to figure out and what i've noticed i don't know if you guys can see it um i really haven't talked to anybody about this but when you see a fastball the ball is like humming right there's almost like not any movement to it when a changeup or a slider or something off speed is released there's a small hump out of the hand i don't know if i am the only one that can see it or if i'm just crazy and i'm just i'm just saying things like you can almost tell instantly out of the hand that the ball like does a little tiny loop it's like a little, little little humpy and that's why it kind of confuses me sometimes sometimes you'll hear me in the video and say dude that looked like a changeup is because I see the hump. Let's move on to lefty, lefty. Same thing for lefty, lefty. Fastball inside. Same thing. I don't want to waste your guys' time by explaining the same thing over and over and over. Remember, lefty, lefty. They're going to throw you one of two things. 90% of players do the same thing every time. Fastballs in, sliders, and breaking balls away. A lot of players do not really know how to pitch lefty, lefty, and they're just, they're just going to spam you the same two pitches. All right, so if you can take away one, you're going to be all right. I try to keep my PCI uh, cheating a little bit to the arm side of wherever the pitcher is throwing. So if it's a righty, I'm cheating up and in if it's a lefty i'm cheating just a little bit up and away just so i can take away that like up and away fastball like fastballs right here i, I don't want to be blown away by those because if i cannot catch up to them then the slider like that is gonna just absolutely full doofledorf me and i i don't want that to happen i want to be able to take that pitch away and then come in and take away any off speed in here or fastballs in here like i said you don't really have to copy my placement this is just what i do what i found comfortable with what i develop my muscle memory on you know what i mean that's basically the hitting tips if you have any more questions let me know i explained this to the best of my ability tried to really break it down for you guys i appreciate you guys watching this one video i know it wasn't the most entertaining video but i wanted to break it down as much as possible i wanted you to be able to understand my line of thinking when it comes to hitting use these tips and have yourself a great year on mlb the show 23 hit some bombs and smile baby i love you guys and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching goodbye